At least I don't feel a fulfilling life involves taking stuff to the recycling bin. <laughs> Hey there, my hands up. I'm Pretty Little Cobras, and welcome back to the Cobras Nest. For those of you who are new, my name is Mignon Cobra, and I make minimalism videos. So today's minimalism video is going to be three tips on how to avoid toxic decluttering. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. Let's get it, let's go! I don't really declutter much anymore. It's been quite some time since I've really done some of these toxic decluttering habits, but I figured if anyone was new to minimalism and they kind of wanted to do minimalism in a healthier way. I think I wanted to offer up three tips that could help you avoid what I feel is in the realm of toxic decluttering. Okay, number one, stop binge watching decluttering videos. <laughs> I think this is a good tip for most things that ail us. If you've kind of gotten obsessed with watching something, watching the extreme versions, you know, the extreme decluttering or binge watching them, watch, 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 you feel like you want to start replicating what you see on TV. And I think that's great and all, but unfortunately, I think that that can lead into something quite unhealthy. You want to keep replicating it. Unless you have like a lot of stuff to declutter, you start decluttering stuff that you really shouldn't be decluttering, stuff you actually need. And I don't think that those videos, like they get past the point. I think in the beginning, they definitely can serve as inspiration but I think that when you're just constantly binge watching it can become quite unhealthy so my recommendation is watch less of it I'm not telling you don't watch them but maybe watch less to kind of stop feeding the decluttering obsession because at least I know for me they would trigger my decluttering sessions I'd watch something on YouTube and I'd be like yes <laughs> I want to do it too and I started getting rid of stuff that I really shouldn't have gotten rid of in the first place okay number three don't touch other people's stuff I've mentioned this in other videos the golden rule of minimalism is that that it's your journey and your journey alone you really shouldn't be touching other people's stuff and we can kind of understand it by thinking about it on the flip side i don't think you would be happy if you came home and realized somebody had thrown your stuff out i think that's kind of the same feeling and the reason why when you declutter somebody else's stuff it's just it's not right it's, it's wrong you should, really shouldn't be touching other people's things so that's usually a warning sign you have run out of stuff to declutter that you've gotten to the point where you feel like you need to start decluttering other people's stuff and i know some people might argue oh no but like i'm trying to help i don't think anyone will ever see you throwing their stuff out as help what may seem like clutter or junk to you is not to them which in some ways is a little bit disrespectful <laughs> it's like where do we get the right to call other people stuff junk <laughs> so my advice to you is probably if you find yourself wanting to declutter other people's stuff probably shouldn't and if it's that bad you should probably talk to them about it let them know how you feel maybe you think that they have too much stuff and it's infringing on public space like i don't know the kitchen or the living room Talk to them first. Never resort to secretly throwing their stuff out. They'll find out and you've broken their trust and it's not gonna end well. Okay, number three and the last and final tip to keep this video nice and short. Find another hobby outside of minimalism. I think that if you have entered a cycle where you cannot stop with this obsession of decluttering, taking your stuff, chucking, rummaging to find new things to get rid of or you've run out of stuff to get rid of and you live in an empty box, now is the time to find something else outside of minimalism. Minimalism is really just a simplifying tool. It's not a means in and of itself. So find something else to do is my recommendation. And I say these things because that is something that I went through. One of my first videos ever was me addressing this obsession that I had with decluttering at the time. I think I was a three year minimalist. I'd been doing minimalism for a couple years and I was really depressed because I just could not do anything except just declutter my stuff and I got rid of really essential stuff. You know, I was decluttering like my knapsack, my clothes. I didn't own a lot and I was still getting rid of it all. It was pretty bad. So my suggestion is find something else to do. For me, I ended up, you know, picking up the hobby of going into nature. I picked up video editing. I started a YouTube channel, <laughs> which is pretty funny because instead of decluttering, I ended up talking about decluttering. Changed my life for the better because there's really, at least I don't feel a fulfilling life involves taking stuff to the recycling bin. <laughs> oh, check out my other decluttering minimalism tips. I think I have like 10. Go watch, enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. All right, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, <coughs> a like, and a subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.